Operation Ambush is an ongoing initiative aimed at drug dealers and gangs across the city. Tonight, Operation Ambush team are out in full force. Several arrests have already been made. Stop bloody resisting, will ya? Now listen to me, bitch. I will be out of here, and you better watch out. Threatening a police officer, you've just dug yourself a deeper hole. Yeah, and you be in it. One of the biggest challenges for Operation Ambush is tackling county line gangs from other parts of the country, even overseas. These criminals are a menace to the society. Superintendent Dutton is determined to take these criminals off the streets. Going somewhere? Uh, hey, fucking hit me! Oh, Bennett, I'm arresting you on a possession of an illegal substance. It's not mine. Tell that to the judge. You have the right to remain silent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do yeah, not have to yeah. say anything. You may find it offensive, but you do not mention when questioned something you like to rely on in court. You got it? Now move, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, come on. You're not doing yourself any favors, but you calm down. Yeah. I fucking calm. I'll throw everything for police brutality. Move. Lock him up! Bedtime. In bed. Sorry, Mummy. Why can't you be like other girls, eh, and play with dolls? I hate dolls, Mummy. Good night. 
Good night. Enjoy. Fuck off. Sarge, is he supposed to have a mobile phone? Real food is pretty much the star food. You can keep it. I like it's a hot pot. I'll take that. I thought I told you never to call me again. I'm in trouble, sis. I need your help. Well, I'm very well, thanks. Paul, thanks for asking. I'm in deep shit. What have you done? The pigs, they broke into the house. Why would they do that, Paul? Someone set me up, sis. They searched my room. They found a bag of crack. They've arrested me for possession. No, no, you are not dragging me into this. You're always so horrible to me. You blame me for everything, persecute me, always sticking the fucking knife in. Why won't you believe that? I'm not a dealer and a pusher. It's for my own personal... Fuck. Are you still friends with that cop? My David. <sighs> Hello? You bitch! Oh god, can I go home now? The only place you'll be going is what's called the Paradise of Jailbirds. Now come on, hand it over. And what over? Don't take me for a mug, come on. I fucking hate pigs. You keep that up, lad. Enjoy your night in your luxurious suite. You can't keep me here overnight. Oh yes we can. Sweet dreams. There we go. Mike. It's Paul again. Really? Well, what's he been up to now then? Let me guess. Drugs. Leave with me. I'll take care of it. But this is the last time. But you have got to keep me out of this. You have my word. I promise. I need some time with my client before the interview. Oi! Oi! Rise and shine! I'll be out there waiting for you, Bennett. You brief is there. Mr. Bennett. Interview started at 15.25. For the benefit of the camera, currently present, is myself, Mr. Mike Davis, Mr. Paul Bennett, and the duty solicitor, Mr. Chris Jones. Please state your name and your date of birth. It's all there. Do it, Mr. Bennett. Paul Bennett, 21, 11, 95. This time, you're in seriously deep shit. Just think, where you're going, you get fed every day. And you have to go five, you have to take a shit. That's enough, detective. Innocent until proven guilty. For the benefit of the camera, I'm showing Mr. Bennett's exhibit 201 bag of smack. For personal use? Not. This was found in your room, Mr. Bennett. According to PC Carter's notes, 
Or you can fist him. Sergeant? Can I have a word, Goff? You're uh, going to have to let him go. Forensic report came back inconclusive. There are no fingerprints. And uh, when you're done here, the governor wants a word. I'm going to sue those bastards. No fingerprints has not been in the clear. I suggest you lay low, Mr. Bennett. And you're supposed to be on my side? Fuck off. You fired! Sorry, Gov. What is it? A few signatures. I can see you busy. I'll come back later. Leave him in the intro, Constable. Thanks, Gov. I received a call from the CEO of Northern City Hospital. One of his ambulance drivers who used to work for the police reported two men in a blue BMW frequently driving up and down, taking photos, making notes. I put two of my boys on patrols undercover for a few days. There's been no sign of them. As you know, our resources are limited, so I had to pull them off. I'm putting you in charge of this investigation. You choose your team, but it has to be minimal. For now. Here are all the reports. <laughs> Mark. PC Scott, just the man I've been looking for. See you in the old sky. Yes, ma'am. Reports are coming in that the organ snatchers have struck again. An organ was stolen that was in transportation for a young girl, the owner Jones, who's living on borrowed time. She will die unless she has the transplant. This is a disaster for the NHS. This better be good, Liam. Because I'm meeting the commander in ten minutes. Bit of an awkward situation, sir. Yes, well, come on, I'm listening. D.I. Yeah, Davies, one of my officers. No, Tampering with evidence. He's a damn good officer. Very disappointed in the man. I'm sure you'll agree, sir. This is a sackable offence. Well, I think giving him an ultimatum might be the only way forward. However, the whole thing will have to be kept hush hush. And at any cost, we cannot make this public. Make sure it gets processed today. Where are you me, Gov? Sorry, Gov. Mustache, I'm doing call in two hours. Come in, detective. Sit down. I would say there's a problem, don't you? Look, I can explain. What were you thinking? Did you think you'd never get found out? 
I checked your phone records. What was your relationship with Abigail Bennett? Paul Bennett? Abigail Bennett, coincidence? No, Gov. The brother and sister. Abigail's a close friend. Look, I know what I did was wrong, but just want you to know there was no other motivation other than helping out a friend who was out of her mind. It's desperate. I sympathise with her, Detective. Take your loyalty on board. Sadly, you've not done yourself any favours. You're an officer of the law, and what you did is a serious criminal offence. The press got wind of this. Unquestionably, the book should be thrown at you. Believe me, officers have been dismissed for less. But attracting media attention is not good for my department. Resignation on your desk by the end of the night. We're sorry, the number you have reached is not in service. Please check the number. Oh, come on, where are you, sis? You never answer your phone. Well, you'll be happy to know that I've got myself a job. <laughs> a real job. Working as a porter for the hospital. You know, I really am trying, you know, so please, give us a call back. You're right, I've just got this flyer about needing extra cash. So what's it all about then? Tampering with evidence is a serious offence. We knew that. And keeping some wraps. So it stays between us. I did some digging. As much as I loathe Facebook, it does have its use. I noticed one of his Facebook friends, Abigail Bennett. His phone records show he received a call from her. This was on the night Paul Bennett was arrested. Turns out she's Paul Bennett's sister. It was difficult, but his resignation was the only solution. Friends, eh? Oh, shit. I would never have asked him to cover for me if I knew this was going to happen. He wasn't to know. So don't beat yourself up about it. <laughs> Hi, hey, Mike. I'm feeling the evidence. You shouldn't have done it. I know Abigail's your friend, but... Is it worth jeopardising your career? I am sorry. If there's anything I can do... I appreciate the call. OK. Bye. I'm Fadir. This is Marco. So, what is it you guys are selling then? I'm selling.
We have a task for you. For you? It's tailor made. You got my attention. <laughs> you can have much more of this if you deliver. But if you double cross us or fuck with us, you won't want to know the outcome. Okay. This visit to Martin Carter. There's no cars, ma'am. Reminds me of service. Well, this can't wait. I'll be at the station in an hour. You can take my car. So, are you in? We're here for Martin Carter. Hello Martin. Acting DC Scott, PC Griffiths. Could you turn the music down please Martin? Martin. Alexa, shut up. What happened here, Martin? We'll have to record this statement. Is that okay? Martin? He, um, he called me. And he was making all like these, um, these strange noises down the phone. Um, luckily, I robbed my mind anyway because I work at the old people's home. Um, so I got here and the door were open. And I know that I shouldn't have done, I know that I shouldn't have come in, but I just panicked. So I ran in and um, I just found him here um, gagged and bound. The fucking bastards robbed him. There's been no signs of a break in. Do you know the people who did this to you? Mine. We're here to help you. Who did this to you? What happened? Look. Yeah. He met these two guys on Grinder. Um he invited them round. They came in. And they gagged and bounded him. And the fucking bastards robbed him. We're very sorry, Martin. Today. No. Nonetheless, my advice is you should go to the hospital and get yourself checked out. Do you know if they've taken anything? Just my laptop. My watch. Some money off the bedside table. Okay. You'll be getting a visit from forensics. Possibly tomorrow. In the meanwhile, if you can compile a list of any other items that might have been taken, give me a call on that number if you think of anything else. It could be vital. Martin, now do you think you give us a brief description of the men that did this? What a way to make a living. What are you on about? Using apps such as Grinder to rob people. Could have been worse. You lucky boy. Five minutes. Where the fuck is he? Here he comes.
You better scrap her. I've been followed. Yeah, police. Pushing you through. Police emergency, how can I help you? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I'm just seeing something really, really bad. Yeah, I saw some money exchanged and it had human organ written on a box which is passed. Where did this happen? Where are you, caller? Can I take your name, please? Pay the homeless a visit. Morning, Commander. What's good about it? But the Home Office is up in arms. The tabloids are having a field day. Two people have died because the organs didn't reach them. My officers are pulling out all the stops and they're working very, very hard. Well, let's work a bit harder, shall we? Commander, I don't need to remind you that lack of funds and resources are not helping. Neither is the social media hype. The NHS is very concerned. Just keep me informed, will you? Have you seen today's papers? Listen, you need to pull your finger out, Chief Inspector. Not enough is being done. Progress report on my desk, first thing tomorrow. I understand this is a very serious okay. this situation complete.
Comment ça Any word on that? Gathering intelligence as we speak, Gov. I think you should arrest Bennett. Bring him in for question. Just a thought, Gov. Instead of arresting him, why don't we bring him in? Get him on our side. Hmm. Well, especially if these two are linked to the gang that we're investigating. Good shout, Sam. We're going to give Ben a surprise visit. Interview starting at 14.35. Shit. You're the one who's screwing the taxpayer. James. What's your relationship with these two? You're not real. You're not fucking real. You'll be helping yourself by keeping you cool and answering the questions, Mr. Bennett. Keeping my cool. It's rich coming from you. The mates. Is that a crime? No. Of course not. What's going on here? Are they paying me for that? What's the payment for? Right, I want my lawyer. I'm not saying a fucking word. No, actually. I'm off. You can't stop me. Sit down. I said sit down, Paul. What about if we do a deal with you? What kind of deal? You could help us. We know these two are up to something. You could keep us in the loop. Keep us informed. We could... Put some good words in. Get you off for helping the police out. You want me to become your little snail? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I'm going home. Be my guest. But let me tell you something, Mr. Bennett. Actions have consequences. Save it. Don't say it in the corner, yeah? See him out. Did you have for lunch? Oh. Hey, Scotty. Scotty. What? Isn't that Bennett? 
Yeah. I don't think he knows, but he's just dropped something. We're gonna follow him. Wait. Fucking close one, you dumbass. Let's hope he didn't see you. Let's see what he's up to, shall we? Remember, I'm seeing that bird tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. You're getting too close. <sighs> You're married to the job. I've got Where a life. Where the fuck's he going? We seem to go around in circles. That's twice we've been down this street. What did he drop, by the way? Well, you're getting too close. Well, Kat, I think he's sussed he's being followed. Shit! We've lost him. Crawley's gonna go fucking ape shit. So you better keep your mouth shut. Surprise! What the, what the fuck are you doing? I told you to keep the fucking pigs off my back. It's fucking harassment. You fired me, remember? Well, you rehired. What happened to our basic human fucking rights? You're nothing but a criminal bully. Fuck off me. Get it fucking done! Self-DI Crawley. My client, Paul Bennett. Harassment, intimidation. This has to stop. Your client, Mr. Bennett, has been digging a very deep hole for himself. You and I both know he's got form. He's got a criminal record as long as my arm, so wake up and smell the fucking coffee. I shouldn't be telling you this, but we've had a tip-off. And he has been involved in some very shady activities that we have had to follow up. These two. We don't know if it's drugs or something more sinister. What's he doing with them? Why don't you arrest them? <laughs> That's good. Coming from you. But without any solid evidence, this fuck all we can do. So if you don't mind, I have a lot to do. There is a consignment leaving the hospital tomorrow. We'll be leaving with this man in this army ambulance. It must not reach its destination, whatever it takes. You're getting good at that, aren't you? I can't even see it. Where is it now? Oh, Molly, where's it gone? We'll go and get some lunch and then we'll come back and have a proper look for it. Okay. Phoebe! 
can you not find it? No. Phoebe! Is this your drone? You found it. Oh, uh, Bolt actually found it. Thank you, Bolt. Oh, thanks very much, Chris. You're welcome. See ya. See you later. Bye. Bye. The police are criticised for not doing enough. Of course, there are still questions of the whereabouts of the homeless. In charge of the investigation, Detective Inspector Samantha Crawley and her team are pulling out all the stops to capture the gang, but they're always one step ahead. My boy found this in my car. Now, no one else has been in my car except you and PC Griffiths. So that's what Bennett must have dropped when we saw him. Bennett. Back. The other night, we saw Paul Bennett on his motorbike and he was acting all suspicious. We wanted to find out what he was up to, so we followed him. He must have sussed he was being followed. So you lost Bennett? It's not good enough, James. PC Griffiths must have dropped the wallet and forgotten all about it. I am sorry, Mum. We also found this in the wallet. What do you think that could be? Oh my God, that's a print of the graffiti that's on the walls of a derelict pub in Salford. This place has been closed down for years. Why would Bennett do this? Could this be the hideaway? Go and tell everyone the briefing's been cancelled. We've got work to do. Oh, and get one of the lads to check in on that homeless witness. We didn't turn up last night. This is the breakthrough we've been after for months. PC Evans. Mum, I'm afraid it's not good news. PC Griffiths and I were sent to China Street to make some inquiries about the homeless witness. Apparently he's not been seen since last night. We believe something's happened to him. This bloodstained blanket was found in the doorway. According to some of the homeless people, it belongs to him. You see Griffiths is still out making further inquiries, ma'am. Okay. Can you make sure this blanket gets to forensics? Yes, ma'am. Now, where were we? That is really good. Thanks, Mummy. You should be dead proud of yourself. That's brilliant, isn't it? Please, please. 
Any idea why we've been summoned, ma'am? <laughs> what do you think, James? Have you ever picked up a newspaper? The superintendent was like the firing squad and I was the target. This gang poses an ongoing threat to the NHS and indeed the public. They've got to be caught. You have anything to report? Gov, as it happens, I was on my way to see you. We've made a significant breakthrough in finding the hideaway. We think that's where they operate from. We've increased patrols in the area and he... Yes, Constable. This you have got to see, sir. We had a call from a horrified woman on Avama Road. She thinks there might be a connection of the attack on the ambulance driver that was on the news today. Receiving. Off you go, Constable. On my way, over and out. Wait, can we go back, sir? Stop. Now, I know the footage isn't that clear, but I'm absolutely certain that's Bennett. We'll set up an ambush and surprise them. Tonight. We'll use unmarked and inconspicuous vehicles and if we park here, we've got clear visibility and we can see all the comings and goings and hopefully not get noticed. We'll need backup. You contact Sergeant Smith and have a team on standby and then I'll clear it with the Governor. Time. Well, where is she now? No, no. I'll be there as soon as I can. Shit. So? I'm gonna have to go, James. The child mind has left my little boy with a neighbour. Keep me informed, will you? Subject's approaching. I'm gonna have to cut you off, ma'am. Subject approaching, ma'am. I'll see you.
fucked up. Taken off. Heading it towards town, Gov. You and DC Williams stay here. And be on the alert. Copy that. DC Scott's DI crawling. Thank you, James. It was Bennett, ma'am. He's just absconded. I'm going after him. DC Scott's in control. Go ahead, Scotty. Inform all units to be on the lookout for a food delivery motorbike. Advertising food young. Food young. Understood. Over and out. What's your position, James? Still in pursuit of the target, ma'am. But I think I might have lost him. Sorry, ma'am. Radio battery died. Someone called in with a report of a hit and run in Berlin Road. And there's a motorbike involved. Can you attend? I'm on my way, ma'am. You inform the emergency services are on the way. Keep me informed, will you? What happened here? This guy over here didn't actually see what happened, but he did see a black van speeding away. He's over here. He's in a bad way. Shit. It's Paul Bennett. Paul. Paul, can you hear me? It's DC Scott. Don't worry, you're gonna be all right, mate. Where the hell is this ambulance? That had to be some hit. His bike helmet's all the way over there. Whoever did this wants him dead. Sergeant, before that man leaves, can you get his statement, please? Yeah. Paul, stay with me. You're going to be all right, mate. The ambulance is here now. Hang on in there, mate. Right, what do we have here? Uh, and you are? DC Scott. He's having trouble breathing. I'm just going to put this oxygen mask on for you. There you go. Watch your head. Watch your head. Right, watch yourself. It's, it's looking bad. We need to get him to an hospital. Quick. It's not a viable option, but we're going to have to move quickly on this. Very weak cardiac output. Page beneath to an ODP. Thank you. You had him in the palm of your hand, James, and you let him slip. What were you thinking? It's my beautiful girl's birthday today. Best in her group. She's gonna die, isn't she? Hey, I've got good news. We found a match, and he's agreed to donate one of his kidneys. Oh, oh yeah. what a week.
Poor Phoebe. When the police arrived, she actually thought she was in trouble. What? Oh! <laughs> oh, the drone! <laughs> actually, it was Chrissy's dog next door who found it. Oh, okay, Mum. No, no. Oh my God! Inspector Roberts from Northern City Police. I'm sorry to be the bearer. Bad news, Miss Bennett. Paul Bennett was pronounced dead a few hours ago. And I'm so very sorry for your loss. I'm sorry to bring this up at such a difficult time, but we need the body to be identified. Is a relative or someone close in Manchester? No. I see. We could do this over the internet. Would 2 p.m. your time be convenient? Once again, my deepest condolences, Miss Bennett. Come in! Sorry, Gov. There's been a crash on the Mancunian Way and D.I. Crawl is stuck in traffic. I have a meeting with the Commander and Superintendent. Tomorrow, I want a full report on my desk of your fuck up that cost a life. I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't know he was going to do a bunk. You can explain that to the CI. Did you get anything out of Bennett? Sorry, man. It's not looking good. He's in a bad way. We'll bring you more details. Sit down. Merge. That's all for now. Both, Both of you. Up to date on our website. This is Ross Blake. Sadly, Paul Bennett died last night. Undoubtedly, this now becomes a murder investigation. So, we have to up our game. I have the painful duty of telling his next of kin, Abigail Bennett, who now lives in Florida. This morning, this morning. She identified the body via video link. The unfortunate hit and run, killing Paul Bennett, who stole the organ, was originally intended for a patient with a rare kidney disease. I ride like a carry can, don't a can. Who's calling? My name is Omar Hussain. I'm the CEO of Northern City Hospital. I'm, I'm calling about Mr. Paul Bennett. 
He's my brother. Is he alright? He's been involved in a serious road accident. God. This is painful. Miss Bennett. Your brother is a registered organ donor. We have a patient with a rare blood group. And my brother's a match? Yes. Miss Bennett. This isn't easy for me. The patient is critical and her kidneys are fading fast. Mr. Bennett has agreed to donate, but as I explained... You're trying to tell me my brother's not going to survive, aren't you? I am so sorry. You have my blessing. Please keep me informed. Before he died, he offered his kidneys to the dying girl with the hope that it would save her life. I would call that poetic justice.